There are three reasons Democrats have to take Sarah Palin seriously. First, evangelical Christians. Political analysts say this cornerstone of the Republican Party has not put its full weight into electing John McCain. James Dobson, the head of the influential Focus on the Family, was not supporting McCain. But now, with Palin, a staunch conservative on board, he is. If evangelicals in battleground states follow, they could fire up phone trees and start pumping out emails for McCain, just like they did for George Bush. When you look at sort of your evangelical ministerial crowd, when you look at your conservative groups uh, and the constituencies they represent, she's already energized them. They're already on board with her. The impact, however, is uncertain. A new survey by the Pew Forum found that a slim majority of Americans now believe religious institutions should keep out of politics, reversing a 10-year trend. And notably, Pew found that this change is being driven by conservatives. Second, Palin could help the GOP with the blue collar vote. Her small town roots, her family, and her status as a Washington outsider could prove a natural draw, making it even harder for Obama to tap into this group that he's had trouble with anyway. And third, the women's vote. Many Republicans hope Palin will draw in uncommitted female voters who will likely decide this election. I like her because of what she stands for. Problem is, some other women see Palin as a crass ploy to grab Hillary Clinton's disillusioned supporters. I mean, the fact that they think they can just hijack Hillary Clinton and insert Sarah, you know, it's just... just well, do you think that's what this is all about? You bet. I think that the people who were for Hillary Clinton were for Hillary Clinton for a reason. They were for Hillary Clinton because of what she stands for. And I don't think Sarah Palin stands for the same things. Maybe, but strategists in both parties are watching voters closely right now, trying to figure out what they really think of Sarah Palin. Tom Foreman, CNN, Washington.